and welcome to Caravan Escapades. Hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Well, guess what? It's arrived. All of the collapse order has arrived. So where are we today? We're Saturday today and it actually arrived, I think it was either Tuesday or Wednesday and I would have put a vlog out earlier on, um, but I just haven't had a chance with work and everything else. So it's early Saturday morning. Um, yeah, it's here. So it's all here. Um, you know, just to emphasize again, guys, I am a big fan of Collapse products. I do like their Collapse products. Uh, and it's just this whole water barrel, saga delivery, lack of communication, all that sort of stuff. But let me show you what arrived. So, what I ordered was the two 20 litre barrels, the trolley and the linking hose. So, let's take a look at this first. I haven't opened these, Claire's opened them. So, here's the trolley. Um, Looks like it does need a little bit of assembly, but it's just quick assembly. In fact, come on, let's have a quick go at doing this now. Um, so I'll just cut off We've got, where did I see them? There's a pack of, pin, a pack of pins here. So these are like quick release pins. Oh, they're in there. So these are quick release pins. This is the classic uh, me doing stuff without checking instructions, but there's a set of instructions. So let's just put that on there. Um, so one clip, so one is we literally just, now the wheels have got this plasticky stuff on, so let's whip that off there. You know what I have to say, um, I wasn't going to be quite sure, but this does look like it's got the collapsed quality in it. So let's just drop those wheels on there. Not that right, so that's that one. So we've got a couple of washers, I'm guessing that washer goes over there and drop the pin in. I'll just do the other wheel and then I'll show you that. Oh, well, that's just happened. So as I push the wheel on, the bearings just come out. Um, you know, it is supposed to be a friction bearing, I guess, but that is one of those things that you are gonna have to, or friction fit, you don't have to wash out. I have just pushed it in again, but it could be one of those things that you know might fall out and you might lose quite easily. Um, so let's just put that on there. So you know that's the trolley, and I guess they've done the wheels like that so you can um, you know pat them away. But I don't think we'd need to. So pull that down. Um, you can fold that up into the. It says, fold that up into the position so that will hold you. That's strange, I would have thought that had gone the other way. And then you've got an extendable handle. And to be fair, you know, this feels like quite a, um, okay, what am I doing on there? Oh, I see. Right. So there is um, a locking pin which goes in there, which doesn't seem to be quite going in, but we'll uh, we'll get that sorted anyway. So that's the trolley. So that was all ordered, and then what we also ordered was the linking hose. So the linking hose is designed to go from one barrel to the other barrel so you can automatically share the water that's in both of them. So essentially with two barrels you've got 20 litres, sorry 40 litres. And the other thing that was promised that did turn up was the collapse mug. So there's a the collapse mug, as promised, um, that's arrived, <laughs> collapse, thank you for that. I'm just going to look back at this trolley because I think I've made a slight mistake here and I think I've probably just broken this, um, in fact I have. So I, again, not reading the instructions, what I've done is I forced, I don't really can see here, um, there's, a, there's a, like a, a locking pin, I forced this arm down because I didn't realize that was there. Um, and what's happened is it, it, it is stretched out. There we go, can you see that? It's kind of stretched that out. 
um, and so no it won't lock so that is I guess my fault is it a design failure uh, I'm not sure what I can do is with my tool stuff like that I'll just undo that straighten that up and that will be working again but it's things like that to watch but that probably partly my failure for not checking the instructions in fact let's just have a quick look at the instructions to see what it says whether it said anything about that um, so after fitting the wheels to open the front foot press pin a fully inside and push back fold down the trolley base until the front <coughs> and you see it doesn't say anything um, <coughs> Right, we can see that it doesn't say anything on there about the pin on the trolley base um, so I'm just going to add a bit in here so I don't know whether you remember this thing um, I know it wasn't in the main instructions and me cutting this thing off uh, in my anticipation to get the packaging open so do you know what this is partly my fault as well um, and my eyesight isn't great but what it says on here is Please read the instructions fully before using the trolley. Do not force the front foot open. Press the release pin uh, on the bracket to unfold the foot. So that was there and you'll probably see back in the vlog um, there was me opening it but yeah I've just picked that up as I was packing away. So is it my fault or should they have kind of really put it in the instructions here uh, you know maybe mention something about it there probably meant them reprinting that but it also meant them producing a load of these as well anyway it was a warning tab I should have read it my fault yeah interesting so I, I mean I've you know I've, I've damaged this um, it is just in there let me take this wheel off hang on so if you take this wheel off here can you see in there look so that's where it is so there is a locking pin there I didn't see the locking pin because there isn't one on the other side um, although it looks like the holes there so it's obviously just a universal bracket there isn't a pin on this side and then you're supposed to press the pin in but what I've obviously done is, is I've just because I didn't realize you got to press the pin in I've just forced that and it has just caused that to open up anyway the good news is so all the collapse bits are now here uh, I did send a couple of emails to collapse uh, they weren't responded to uh, which is a bit of a shame and I think one of the problems with this whole um, water barrel delivery time scale saga has just been that lack of communication I think in the 12 months we've been waiting I've had two maybe three emails from them um, and even when I'd email chasing you know you wouldn't get a very clear answer anyway uh, it's here now and I'm really really looking forward to trying it so what we'll do when we get the first opportunity to get out in the caravan with the collapse product again we will do you a full and comprehensive vlog on it both on these bits on the barrels and that sort of stuff so you know that might be uh, two or three weeks out there and I guess some other vloggers who might have got the product before us will have done a vlog anyway but we'll do our bit and we'll add a vlog in there Anyway, this time next week I should be on the way to the NEC, it will be the Saturday NEC show, so if you are there don't forget to come by, um, you know if you see us about say hi, give us a shout out, that sort of stuff and we'll try and remember to take some stickers. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when we put out more vlogs. We'll see you very very soon, you guys take care.